Hello everyone and welcome back to a short videos on business studies. I know it has been a while, my deepest apologies. Um, I'm back and we are still in unit one, business and its environment. And uh, the topic that we are, the chapter that we are focusing on today is on stakeholders. And the small portion in stakeholders will be focused, which is called social audit. Okay, before we move on to the whole word of social audit, let's look at the word of an audit. An audit is basically a check, right? You can do an audit on your own work because, for example, if you're submitting an assignment, you do an audit by going through every single line in your assignment to make sure it's correct, right? Similarly, companies who appoint auditors to come in into their company, what these auditors do is to check on their financial documents to make sure that whatever the company is about to report to public is correct, precise and right. Right. So uh, a person who is an auditor normally right, will be a person who checks and makes sure that everything is correct and is basically the truth. Now, a social audit for that matter is a little bit different. Right. So let's look at the slide in front of me. Like a financial report, a social audit reports on an employer's performance or impact on society. Right. So what do they look at? pollution, health, safety and records, right? And whether the company has been re releasing a lot of waste into the environment, right? So besides looking at the financial report, which is normally a financial auditor would do, a social auditor would report on an employee's social impact to the society. I hope you got that so far, right? So is this important? Is this necessary? Right. So many companies may not really apply social audits because it is not made mandatory or an, um, uh, you know, a legal obligation that companies need to comply or perform social audits. But there are companies who do. All right. And uh, they do that because, well, yes, it looks good on your besides your financial reporting. It also shows that you are a company that is more socially responsible. Okay, let's look at more reasons on uh, whether or not social audits um, provide advantages and disadvantages to businesses. Now, as usual, I always like to have a class where you are able to apply or practice what you've just learned. Yeah, so there are some terms here on the screen, right? Um, the advantages and disadvantages of social audit have been somewhat jumbled up and it's your duty now or responsibility to identify or characterize these terms into two categories whether they are an advantage or a disadvantage right basically you're trying to identify or trying to categorize the advantages and disadvantages of having a social audit i will leave you here for some time before we move on to the answers on the next slide. Now, let's look at the answers. The advantages of having a social audit or running a social audit. Yeah, there are three advantages. OK, having social audits improve a public's uh, business public image. It meets the social objectives of the company. It provides confidence to the local community. Pretty straightforward here. Basically, it means that when a business employs or gets someone in to actually run a social audit over the company's uh, social objectives, right? This helps to improve confidence of the people around, right? It also shows that this company is meeting social objectives, not just about profit and money, right? At the same time, this helps with the public image. So it somewhat boosts up the marketing and branding portion of the business, yeah? 
this falls on the advantages of social audits. Of course, if you can take out more benefits, please feel free to do so. Yeah, let's move on to the disadvantages of a social audit. Running social audits sometimes could be a bit costly, right? Because not many companies do it. So when something is not a norm, it may be a bit of a pricey uh, uh, attack, uh, you know, to, to bear. Yeah, it may not be independently audited. Because for the sake of running a social audit, you can employ anyone in your company uh, to actually run it for you. So there could be elements of biasness and it may not be reporting exactly what the company is actually doing. All right? It could be of a negative publicity if it is seen as window dressing. All right? The word window dressing here means that the social audit may be conducted all right, to cover up... Um, or to, you know, to, to basically blur the real situation that the company is facing financially, right? So which means in financial performance may not be very, very good. But on the other hand, the social objectives are. And therefore, that kinds of clouds up, you know, or, or uh, like a camouflage for the company having social audit, right? Now, it's also not legally required at this point of time. Therefore, not all companies are actually... Uh, implementing it or getting a social auditor to come in and actually audit the social objects of the company. Therefore, when something is not legally required, that is, the, it means that not every company is doing it. So, well, that could be a disadvantage as well. Yeah. So let's recap on what are the important concepts uh, or, or things for you to take home today. First thing is to understand the concept of social audit, meaning you need to know what social audit means, right? Uh, apart and beyond just uh, the definition of a social audit, what is the impact of running a social audit for companies, for example, right? And you also got to understand why many businesses adopt social audits, right? For many reasons that we have covered just now, okay? Now, that's the end of today's class, right? And if you have questions or concerns, this is my email address. You can actually drop me an email to, well, check if you have some short, quick questions for me to provide you with an advice and I'll do my best to respond to you, all right? I also do have an online, um, I call it an online school, but it's not really a school yet. But what I do is that if you have questions and you need some uh, tutoring help, then yes, I will be able to help you as well via online uh, methods like Skype and things like that. So let me know if I can help you, right? Drop me an email and let's talk. Thank you so much for today. Continue uh, watching these videos and sharing and providing feedback. And um, I look forward to sharing with you again soon.